Are we live yet? <sighs> I need a haircut. <laughs> okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm ready. Hello and welcome everybody back to the channel. I am your host Vortex from MobileMusicPro.com, your home for mobile music production. And today we'll be debuting a brand new series on this channel called Songwriting Shortcuts. And in this series, we'll be showing you some apps that will help you out with playing, writing, and generating chord progressions, melodies, leads, bass lines, and more. Because everybody needs a little inspiration, especially if this is your day job and you are doing this professionally and you need to be cranking out songs every single day on that producer grind. Doing this day in and day out can lead to some writer's block. So it's always great to find some fresh new ingredients to sprinkle into your production salad. And in an effort to discourage beat block and songwriter's block, we hope to show you some of these apps that can really help you break free of that type of funk and get back to doing what you love, creating great music. Now remember, this is just the first part in the series, so make sure to give us a thumbs up if you want more. And of course, make sure to comment below if we've forgotten any of the apps that you use to create chords and chord progressions. And of course, if you are new to the channel or you enjoy content like this, make sure to subscribe, because every new subscription and every thumbs up helps get more people into mobile music production. So without further ado, let's get into this first part of the songwriting shortcut series, Chords and Chord Progressions. All right, hello and welcome everybody to the first video in this new series called Songwriting Shortcut Apps. This first video will be dealing with chords and chord progressions and will actually be split into two parts. First part will be generating chords and the second part will be playing chords. And the first app we'll be talking about today in the generating chords category is Odessi by Mixed In Key. This app is available for free with in-app purchases. And as you can see, we have a brand new project pulled up here inside Odessi. And in this app, you can actually add chords, bass lines, or drums. But for the purpose of this video, we're just going to be adding chords. So we can do that here by clicking Add Chords. This brings up the menu where we can then choose which type of key we'd like to play the chords in. So you, as you can see here, we're starting with C major. We can change that at any time right here. Let's change that to D minor, just like that. And at any given time, you can actually scroll through the different chords just like this. And once you change the chord, the chord progression will play out for you. You can then add that to your favorite and view your favorites by clicking on the favorites tab. You can also choose which sound you'd like your chord progression played back in. The default is piano strings, and you can change that anytime by clicking on the chord sound. From here, you can see a wide list of sounds to choose from, including saw synth, sine pluck, stabby saw, and more. Based on the key that you've chosen, it'll show you a list of chord progressions that you can scroll down from and choose at any time by just tapping on them. Once you've selected the chord progression that you like, you can then choose a rhythm. To choose a rhythm, we tap Add Rhythm. This brings up the rhythm menu where you can choose from Custom, Basic, Simple, or Complex. Tapping on the basic reveals the default settings of on every measure, on every beat, or every offbeat. Clicking on the simple tab reveals a huge variety of different rhythm types and different styles. And just like everything else in the application, both the rhythms and the chord progressions can be saved or favorited by clicking on the heart tab. Once that's tapped, it'll be revealed in your favorites by clicking on the heart tab at the top. You'll have limited amounts of instruments until you click on the pro version. To do that, you click on the sounds tab and then click get pro features. By default, the application does come with a bunch of different sounds that you can use though. To export your MIDI, you simply click on the projects tab at the top right hand corner. From there, you click on export MIDI. Here you can copy, save to your files in your file system, 
or save to your Dropbox, or copy it directly to your favorite DAW. You can also change the BPM of the project at any time by clicking on the Projects tab in the top right hand corner and selecting the tempo. The next app we'll be discussing in the Generating Chords category is Chords Gen by MichaelMaddox.com. This app is available for free with in-app purchases. Now within the in-app purchases, there is either the option for a monthly subscription or an outright purchase of $22 for a lifetime subscription. Okay, we have the app pulled up here, and as you can see right away, it's a pretty simple user interface. We have a piano that we can choose from at the top where we can choose our key. Uh, there is a generator text at the top where we can choose from the type of generations that we want, the chord progressions, either major or minor or a harmonic minor, or you can choose any. In addition to this, you can tap on any one of the keys to choose a chord progression in that key. And if you don't actually tap on one, then it will choose for you. Let's choose the key of C major and click generate. Once you've found a chord progression you like, you can either export it or save it as your favorites by clicking on the hearts button. You can always play back the chord progression by clicking the play button below. However, you can't have it loop unless you pay for the premium version. Let's choose E major. All right, let's choose A major. On the bottom of the app, you'll find buttons that reveal additional functionality. We have the Generator tab, Light tab, Settings tab, and the More tab. Clicking on the Light tab will reveal the chord progressions that you saved. And clicking on the Settings tab will allow you to choose additional settings for your chord progression generation, including things like Tempo, Rhythm, and Seventh Chords. Again, some of these features are only available with the paid version, but once you have them, you can even do additional things like changing the sounds. There's really a bunch of different settings to choose from. As you can see here, you can choose to enable piano roll, bass line, or auto playing. To get back to the generator tab, we just click generator at the bottom. To export your chord progression to your favorite DAW, you click the save button here. And it of course reveals the traditional menu where you can either copy, save to files, save to Dropbox, or copy into your favorite DAW. All right, next up in the list is Auto Chords by AstroCode. This app is available for free with in-app purchases. And as you can see, it has a pretty slick user interface. You can change the different colors that you'd like to see by clicking on the settings icon in the top left-hand corner and choosing the theme. I have it set to purple, but you can set it to green, autumn, blue, or monochrome. And right away, we can see our piano here with a chord progression set. Currently, we have this chord progression set to A minor, and it is set to positive. You can choose which chord progression you'd like to have in their list by clicking on the drop-down menu at the top. This reveals the different list of chord progressions that is available within this app. And as you can see, they're mostly categorized by feeling. So we can see here we have joyful, happy, funny, and creepy. So if we choose ballad, we can see that it has generated a chord for us. Now that's awfully slow as it's currently set to 75 BPM, and we can change that at the top by viewing the tempo dropdown and change it like this. At any given time, we can also change the key with the dropdown menu at the top here. It's currently set to A major, but we can set this to anything we'd like. At the bottom, you can see here that it actually displays all the chords that are actually in this particular key. And if you don't like the voicing of this particular chord progression, you can choose the main progression dropdown at the top. And this reveals an additional variation menu for you, where you can choose the E minor variation, D major variation, or C major variation. And of course, you can always save the chord progressions that you find by clicking the star in the top right-hand corner. And what's really great about some of the user interfaces in these apps is that it shows you the piano with the actual chord progressions being played for you so you can learn them. To export your chord progression, you tap the share button right here. And this reveals the usual menu where you can copy, save to files, and save to Dropbox, or copy to your favorite DAW. And the final app we'll be discussing in the Generating Chords category is the ChordBot app by Contrasonic AB, available for $4.99. And we have the app pulled up here, and as you can see, again, very clean interface as with the other apps. 
but this app allows you to dig in a lot deeper to your chord progressions. And instead of having all of your chords generated all the time, this particular app allows you to help you write new chord progressions in addition to generating them for you. So as you can see here, we have the A major chord pulled up, and it's going to bring up a bunch of other chords for you to choose from. And they are all color coded for you, so that means that if the chord is closer to the color green, it will more closely match the chord that you've already chosen. So we have an A major pulled up, so let's go ahead and choose another chord by clicking the insert button at the bottom left hand corner, and choose G. Now we can click play and it will play both the chords A and G. And if we select G, you can see that we have a bunch of other chords to choose from that are all green. So let's go ahead and insert another chord and choose A, but let's choose A sustained 4. And let's choose another one. Let's go ahead and choose C. But again, let's get a little bit more fancy and do major 13. Let's see how this sounds all played out together starting from the beginning. So as you can see, this app can allow you to create either simple or complex chord progressions very quickly. You can choose your chord duration at the bottom. By default, the 4-4 is selected. Once you've selected a chord on the left, you can see the chord type information in the center. Here we can see that we have a bass of A and the key is in C major. And we can change the key at any time by clicking on the key. To see your different tracks, you would click on the mixer icon at the top which reveals the instrument mixer menu. And of course, there's presets available too, which can be revealed by clicking on the presets button. There's a bunch to choose from, including Busy, Chicago, Coral, Iceman, and more. To export your chord progression, we tap on the file menu in the top right hand corner. This will reveal the menu where you can open, save, export, or transpose. You can choose to either export your song in MIDI or audio. Let's choose export to MIDI. And of course that brings up our familiar menu where we can copy, save to files, save to Dropbox, or export to our favorite DAW. Okay, the first app we have up in our playing chords category is Chord Polypad by Laurent Colson. This app is available for $12.99. Now this app is really great for both generating chords and playing chords actually, but we put it in the playing category because the user interface clearly focuses on these big 16 pads in the center of the app. Now as you can see here we have the C major chords pulled up. You can go to the presets category in the top left hand corner and choose from a bunch of the factory presets. Let's go ahead and choose game over. And as you can see there is also the genre underneath the name. The game over preset that we have chosen here is part of the trance genre. Let's go ahead and choose another preset. Let's choose pop song, which of course is in the pop genre category. You can of course create and mix and match your own chord progressions and save them in the user category here. As you can see when you play the chords, the corresponding notes shows up on the piano below. Helping you learn and understand which keys are actually being played, so that you can actually learn how to play these chord progressions. Now this app has a variety of different features and we're not going to be able to cover them all here, that would be out of scope. We're just showing you how to use this app to create chords for right now. But one feature we have to mention is the strumming feature. Under the pad tab on the right hand side of the user interface we can see we have a strumming option here that is currently set to off by default. We can choose up, down, or random. Let's go ahead and choose up for all of these pads. And now we'll play them back. You can choose how many notes the strumming goes with this slider here. To generate chords, you click on the random tab on the top right hand corner. Choose your scale that you'd like the chord progression to be generated in. Here we're going to choose D major, click close. 
and we'll choose to generate all 16 random pads. You can choose the chord complexity, ranging from simple to complex here. This app comes with a variety of internal sounds, but of course you can also use it to play sounds in your favorite DAW. To do that, we'll go to the Options menu by clicking on the Tool icon in the top right hand corner. And we'll output this to Cubasis instead of the internal sounds. Once again, there is a variety of amazing features in this app that we just can't cover them all here, but like all the apps that we have in this series, we highly recommend them all. Okay, for the second app in the playing chords category, we have Chord Up by Dimitri K. Sorry, Dimitri, I'm not going to try to pronounce your last name, man. This app is available for $5.99. Okay, we have the app pulled up here, and as you can see, it is very, very simple, very, very clean, and straight to the point. By default, it will come up with these pads that you can play here. But what we're focused on, of course, is the chords. So let's go ahead and find the chords by clicking the gear icon in the top left-hand corner. This will reveal a bunch of different options, including a performance mode that has pads, strings, and expression. We're going to click on the expression. From here, anywhere we tap now, we'll play a chord. We can choose how many keys are actually in the chord by clicking on the dots here. By default, we just show the one dot. We can click on the two dot. And then the three dot. We can adjust the octave by tapping the up and down arrow on the left hand side. The expressive mode really allows you to play chords really easily. So as usual, let us try to control the piano in Cubasis. To do that, we'll click the gear icon again, choose the output, and we will choose Cubasis. We can now control our instrument in Cubasis. There are a couple other options in the setup menu as well. If we click on the gear icon, we can see that we can choose the velocity and the controls as well. So all in all, a pretty handy little app for playing chords. Okay, the final two apps in the playing chords category is actually going to be audio unit MIDI effects. And the first one we're going to be talking about is the KB1 Keyboard Suite by Kai Aris, available for $9.99. So let's go ahead and pull it up in our DAW of choice, Cubasis. You can pull this up in any DAW that supports MIDI audio unit effects. We'll choose MIDI effects, click on tap effect. We'll scroll down to numerical KB1. By default, it'll pull up just a standard keyboard, which you can play. But we're going to check the preset here. We're going to select the preset and choose basic chord. From here now, we can see that it actually pulls up all of the different chords that we can choose from. Currently, we're set to a C major, but we can change that by clicking on C and clicking the minus or plus, which will scroll us through the different chords. Let's just keep it in C for now, C major, and we can play a couple of these chords. And of course we can go up and down the scale by clicking the up and down buttons here. which is changing those numbers as you can see at the bottom. You can enable different effects as well, such as slide and glide. There is a variety of different layout options that you can choose by clicking on the gear icon here on the top left hand side of the corner, and you can choose the different layouts, number of rows, row spacing, scale, octaves per row, and root note, all that good stuff. And of course, the chord settings, which is the chord type and chord mode. And you can also choose the chord base output, chord base channel, and chord base octave. So lots of different options here for modifying your chords. And since you're already in your favorite DAW, recording these chords is easy.
All in all, KB1 is a very handy app to have if you wanted to be able to play a bunch of different chords and you don't quite know the music theory yet behind them. Okay, slight change of plans for the very last app here. We were going to use Kality, but the problem is, is it's more of a sequence generator than an actual chord generator or chord playing app. So instead, we're actually going to just show you the chords in the Cubase's DAW. Now, most DAWs have the ability to play chords, but since Cubase is our DAW of choice, we'll show you how to do it within Cubase. So we just simply click on the keys at the top. This will reveal our keyboard we can play there and then we'll click on the pads at the top left hand corner and playing these pads now will actually allow us to play chords as you can see each pad has the name of the chord on it so we have the G2 major G2 sustained A2 minor and all that good stuff there so we can change the chord for each one of these pads by clicking on the edit button and from here this will bring up our chord menu where we can choose what we'd like to do so we can change this to C, 4, minor. And there you have it. And of course, since we're already in our DAW, we can play these really easily. Again, this is just playing pads in Cubasis, but most major DAWs will have the ability for you to play chords within them as well. All right, we really hope you enjoyed that video. Please remember to comment down below if we missed any of the apps that you guys use, because these were just some of the ones that we've used in the past. And also remember that this was just the first part in the Songwriting Shortcut series. So if you enjoyed this type of content, make sure to smash that thumbs up so that we know we're providing the best service that we can to our fans. And otherwise, of course, smash that thumbs down if you don't like it so we know to move on to a different series and different types of content. Now, the next video in this series that we were thinking of doing is melodies and bass lines. So make sure to stay tuned for that. You see, we tried to only create the videos that we ourselves would watch, and we certainly get writer's block sometimes. And it can be really hard to get yourself out of that mode or out of that funk or out of that mentality. So we really hope this video helps you with that. And of course, we have many, many, many more videos to come this year, so make sure you guys are subscribed. So until next time, everybody, keep talking music. We'll see you later.